from a lot that's set empty for 75 years in New York's Lower East Side. Springs up what just may change the course of cities throughout the world. There's a wide range of issues and we're tackling them all here in the space. Urban activist Omar Freya is a team member of the BMW Guggenheim Lab, the first of nine worldwide installations that will explore tough questions about the future of city life. Now what's happening here isn't deciding the fate of New York City, but what it is doing is that it's creating a space where people can actually come together and talk about what kind of a city they'd like to see. The structure, a sort of traveling toolbox, was designed by Atelier Bow Wow of Tokyo. The project itself is a collaboration between the Guggenheim Foundation and BMW. I think it's a relationship between partners, great partners, with a lot of competence on both sides. And we would like to set up a platform for open dialogue for future life in urban cities. In the lab, there are no discussions that are off limits. We're thinking about the whole system of the city, from zoning codes to rules about uh, where you can throw your garbage. Team member Charles Montgomery is a journalist who writes about urban life. At this point, our biggest aspiration is to learn how to ask the right questions. BMW is a leader in its industry, and as a leader, um, you always seek for getting the answers ahead of time. But in order to get answers ahead of time, you have to get the right questions first. And that is why we partner with the Guggenheim. We actually created uh, this game that we call Urbanology. The lab is a public space, and anyone who visits can participate in discussions and games like this, where simple questions can provoke complex feelings. All right, so question number five, will you allow begging in the street? Very simple question, yes, I see a yes over here, so why? The theme for the first three cities is called Confronting Comfort. People generally think of, you know, comfort as being cool on a hot day, that individual comfort. And what we're putting out there is that everyone pays a price for comfort. You need to look no further than Houston Street right outside this lab where you have tens of thousands of people coming to the city every day and using various forms of transportation, inflicting noise, dust, pollution on those of us who are using shared means of getting around, walking through the city. Lab team members say that every bit of behavior in the city, even personal behavior, could have far-reaching consequences. Is the South Bronx paying a price for the Upper East Side's comfort? Are there people on the sidewalk paying a price for my own ability to honk a horn, to get everybody out of the way? Another big issue is mobility, how people move around the city. You have to find somewhere to park your bike or your car. You have to find somewhere to store it. These things cost money. What if we were to share our vehicles? BMW believes it must take a socially responsible view of the city's future transportation needs. BMW does have also motorcycles and even bicycles. And if you look at big cities like Berlin or like Paris, you see a lot of scooters even. Maybe scooters are more important in the future. We offer mobility solutions. We have just founded a, a car sharing system to explore how car sharing might work in the future. As guests arrive to celebrate the opening of the New York BMW Guggenheim Lab, there is hope in the air. We don't imagine that we're going to propose a utopian city free of noise, like the beeping we're hearing out on the road, the horns. This is New York. We can deal with this stuff, but we believe we can do it better. <laughs>